G'day everyone, Gerber here with the second part of Leveling 2 100. Um, I was considering switching to Pack Spirits, etc. However, I have settled on um, using one of the XP fall off pets for minus 40%. Uh, I only have, I don't have the legendary, so I don't have another 40% there. I've only got um, the other blue one, which is 20% total. Uh, so I've decided to go with a couple of uh, other pets instead. I've gone with 12% XP on this one. He's level 6. And I have gone with 12% XP on this one, which is also level 6. Um, so I'm getting... 24% XP earned with uh, minus 40% XP fall off, bit of max life, etc. So I'm still a little bit more tanky than I was be um, than I would be if I was in um, FE pack spirits. And if I see myself dying, I can quickly just switch to um, the no XP loss pets. However, I will probably not realize I'm dying until I am dead. So I have 61 um, maps to go uh, and then I'll probably just buy some more. Nothing else is sold. Nothing else is really up for sale. Maybe I should fill that up with more of this stuff. Uh, still 4-4, four, four, so 4-5 four, probably sell. This one's, yeah, two's going to sell pretty quick. 15, three, that'll sell pretty quick. Let's just up it to a little bit more. Some skills aren't selling, which is a shame. Uh, 3.4, so they've gone up in price, which is cool. The ends, selling them for 17, that should sell pretty quick. 204. What are these worth? 35. Nah. They'll sell for 40. Surely. Steel Realm. I feel like I want to run that one. Uh, 38 will sell as well. I've got anything else to sell? What are Ultimate Embers worth? Not much, apparently. Endless Nights, a two. What do I have up for two and a half? Uh, so just tw two it is. Shame. And then these should... What? Wow. Wow. That's a shame. Um... I don't think I have really anything else to sell. High fortification is one. Wow. Well, I guess no one's using that. What's this worth? Nothing. I don't have anything else to sell, so I'm just going to load up the clock. Add it back down here and crack on. I'll see you in an hour. Alrighty everyone, I'm going to be a bit greedy here. I'm going to switch to uh, my Nightmare Pets because um, this has the potential to be kind of crazy. Well, rip. Two to three to fluorescent may be okay if that changed to fluorescent. However, it can still drop supernova. So I may just ignore this completely because this isn't going to do anything either. Shame that nothing else came out of that except for my shepherd does nothing now. So I'm hopeful that uh, I don't die because that will suck. Um, and that we get some decent loot from this. Imagine if I died just from being 
a little bit stupid and greedy. This isn't deep space, so it's not going to be super huge. Um, but maybe somewhat interesting. I'm very nervous that I'm going to die. <laughs> Taking unnecessary risk when all you're really trying to do is level is uh, actually very mental. But I'm kind of curious to how much FE we get. Who's at my door? So let's see, we've got 749 in that stack. Yeah, there's only 34 FE. Wow. That's like <laughs> That's not worth the risk at all. Oh, there's a 50, so that's alright. Um, and something has dropped down here. Oh, what was it? Oh, it's the key evidence. Okay. Anywho, back to it. There's the FE if you're curious. Alrighty, just got a nightmare and I've come in here, switched to um, the nightmare pets, which gives you a chance at getting an extra thing. It gave me adds one uh, rainbow bubble that uh, reduces every other nightmare from then on. Obviously, we're in the Nightmare, so there is no other ones. And we got super lucky and got a Netherrealm bubble. Um, in the latest patch notes, uh, they also increased the amount of rank 5 plus beacons that drop from Netherrealm bubbles. So it'll be interesting to see how much uh, we... Did I press the button in time? I did. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Man, I'm glad that worked. Oof. That would have been sad to lose 10% XP. I don't really care what bubble I lost. I lost commodity. Bunch of random useless stuff. Is that any good? No idea. Um, so anyway, I've got like one map left. Alrighty, we are five hours in to this test now. Alrighty, nothing too exciting in this hour. I have focused more on XP. I just want to get this over and done with so that I can start juicing um, five plus beacons again. Uh, we are almost completely out of beacons, so we're going to have to buy more, which is fine. So we've used... Um, 1,002 Flame Elementium worth of beacons so far. We have 4,471 Flame Elementium in the bank, which is pretty sweet. Uh, as well as we have a uh, the investment going on here. Turns out it takes an absolute killer amount of time to get a precise concentrated to 20. Um, maybe that's why they're going for... Um, that little bit extra. Uh, quick movers are spell concentration. For some reason, this is 60 flame elementium at the moment for a level 20. Levels up pretty quickly. And uh, still crit strike damage is going for, um, for uh, 30. So anyway, I'll do another hour. And hopefully at the end of this hour, we'll be, you know, 76%. Uh, then it'll be 80%. So we've got about two and a half hours to go. Uh, and then I can start playing the game again. <laughs> Alright, see you in an hour. Red hot tip.
if you're doing this and you have the XP protection pets, whenever you see uh, elites with blue circles, just pop it. Just forego the extra XP and just protect yourself because they're dumb. Alrighty, that's close enough to the six hour mark at this point. Oh, I've all but stopped caring about Flame Element, Tim. Um, to say I am bored out of my absolute brain would be an understatement. Uh, so looking at what we have, I've almost got 4,000 Flame Element, Tim. Excuse me. I've pretty much stopped doing the Resident. I've seen hardly any extra um, of those. We do have a hundred of these, so we can get whatever the hell that thing was. Um, and still just selling stuff as we go. Uh, I bought some extra of these just because someone had them up for 20. Um, but if I was to sell them, I could sell them for, you know, 33. So that's a bit of a money maker for no effort. Um let me just quickly tally what we have. Um, and, oh, that was lucky. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, yeah, that was pretty lucky as well. Uh, I'll tally what we've got and see how we go. Well, that's annoying. I forgot to copy what that was. Um, so I guess we'll just do equals this divided by two. Nope. Uh, equals this divided by what is six, six hours. So nine sixty-three actually ended up being about the same as the last hour. Okay, so I guess we got a little bit more that time. I can't remember why. Oh, yes, I do, uh, because I wasn't counting these. So that's uh, two hundred that I, for some reason, wasn't updating. Um, so that's interesting. Um. Nothing else really that interesting from this one. Uh, what percent XP are we on? We're on 77%. Alrighty, I can't remember <clears throat> what that was, but I feel like it was around about um, 900 FE an hour at that point. So I've just plucked a number out of my ass and just put it, that in there. Um, this is obviously to 100. And this is, I don't know why I'm calling them sets, but that's hour six. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do an hour seven. I'm just going to put on some music, blast it to keep me awake. And um, I'll keep the uh, timer going and we'll just see how long it takes to get the last 23% um, of a level. It'll probably take a little bit over an hour. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I was doing this uh, this way to start with, because I went 15. It would have taken 6.6 .6 hours at 15%. Um, so I'd be about half hour from done. But unfortunately, I did it this way. I f tend to focus too much on FE instead of the real goal uh, in this game. Uh, so I'll see you in just a second. I just realized why the numbers were off a bit. I didn't update the maps. So that was another 200 flame element you've got. Still 5,500 so far. This hour has been much more enjoyable than previous hours because whew, oh, music just makes everything better. I don't know why I did the first six hours without music. Blows my mind. Uh, but anyway, I have probably about half hour to go. I'll uh, unpause when I get to the uh, last percent. Or I'll probably get about five minutes into the last percent. And then see how we go. Unless I die, and then I'll be very upset. Um, that nightmare is looking pretty juicy. It was not bad. I can see how streamers do this. I was thinking that, you know, people that level up to 100 must be mentally insane or something. However, when you're just listening to music and just blasting maps, it's actually really not that bad. 
Um, I didn't do the tally at seven hours, uh, which was just a little bit less stress than I, you know, had the previous six hours worrying about how much FPL I was making, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I haven't switched out my skills again. Uh, since they hit 20, I just don't care. Um, I'm tempted to just do the last percent with um, the uh, no loss on death pets. However, uh, I've been relatively decent at switching before I died. Um, I don't know if that's considered a cheat or just smart gameplay. You set up the uh, the shortcuts in your settings. Um, so I just have the no XP loss pets set to five, which I have a mouse that has buttons on the side, so it's in the center. So if I panic, I just press the middle button and uh, I don't lose XP. I'm hoping that I hit it in the next minute or so, uh, and then we can finally get back to farming other stuff. Uh, deep space, I want to give deep space Steel, Vor Steel Forge a go, uh, because Steel Forge keys are so ridiculously cheap at the moment. Um, so that'll be a good profit area. There we go, level 100. We've done it. The first time I've ever got level 100 in Torchlight Infinite. Um, am I glad I did it? I guess. So, 7 hours and 23 minutes to go from 99 to 100. Uh, season challenge, there we go. I need another hero to 92. Uh, that should only take an hour or so. That'll get me a hundred flame elementium. Uh, looking at the profit in a second. The dog wants to go do a short. Oh, path of achievements. Story. Reach level 100. Amazing. A commander. Oh, so. Ugh, no, thank you. Level up every class to 100 for 10 Jagged Primos. That should be 1,000 or 10,000. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll tally up what we've got and see how we went. Alrighty, to completely summarize, we had... I stuffed up the, uh, the total for the... Six hour, it was, I think I put 5583, but it was actually 4583. Because um, I over-calculated how much FE had dropped. So we've ha we have 4,125 Flame Elementium now. It cost uh, 1,483 FE in maps, which is kind of insane, but it is what it is. Um... We would have had probably a hundred more maps drop. Uh, so all up, we used 464 maps that we know of. Obviously, maps drop during the uh, runs. I stopped selling the rank 5 beacons uh, towards the end just to see how many would accumulate in the last three hours or so. We had about um, you know, 30 and 40 drop. So I would assume that on top of uh, this 464, there was probably another 70 or so maps, bringing it to about um, 530 maps done for 99 to 100. It would have been less if I had been using the... Um, the pets for the last, you know, four hours the entire time. However, you know, you live and you learn. Um, so pretty good all up um, totals. Uh, there was a couple of little tricks along the way to earn some extra. Just look at the skills that you can level up and sell. Um, 
Crit Strike damage was pretty decent. Crit Strike rating was about 10. Um, spell concentration, potentially good. Uh, I say potentially because they haven't sold for 50. I might just remove them and sell them for 30. Uh, see if they sell. So, yeah, someone's just undercutting the entire time. So 44, I'll... Oops, I want to take that off and put it back up for 30. Uh, 30 is probably reasonable. And if it's, you know, such a huge undercut over what someone else is selling it for, maybe they'll be like, oh, 30, that's a bargain, when really... Just buy the 16 and level it up yourself. Um, these ones haven't sold, uh, but they might sell overnight. Precise, uh, concentrated. Um, they're up for 745, 750, whatever. Um, I bought mine for 30 and I sold them for 835. Um, and then I bought again for 600 or something. So. If these sell and I break even on that, then I'm still up, you know, 1,600 uh, external to this test. Um, but they even each other out. Um, so anyway, it was an interesting experience. I can now claim uh, all this stuff and get back to trading on the AH properly. Uh, what I want to do now is still forge... Uh, they're 29, etc. Some somewhat up earlier for uh, 20, which is kind of crazy. Uh, 36 still. I'm going to be doing a fair bit of deep space. 44. Um, you're better off just doing blistering than glacial, in my opinion. Rank 5 void is still 40. Although you can get malevolent hands drop. I had. Um, one pair drop that I undercut myself by 500 in almost 500 maps. So 500 maps with Agile, that means I did about probably minimum 50, more likely 60 um, plane watches. So uh, actually I can look that up one second. Hmm. I suggest that I did 56 the ends. I think I'm a, a few short. Uh, I was just going through trade, seeing where they sold. Um, but I think I must have missed one. But anyway, 50 to 60. Um, oh, 60 is, 56 is probably okay. Yeah, that's 560 maps or so. Uh, anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you did, subscribe, all that good shit. And um, I'll have more farming videos for you very shortly. Cheers.